In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use a pick, a flat pick, so you're going to need to get one. They're not very expensive, and you can get one at any music store. They're about a dollar or 80 cents or one euro. Get a medium-sized one. Don't get a, a thick, real thick one, and don't get a real thin one to start with. Sometimes they're called medium. Feel it, and it should be able to bend a little bit. I'll show you the close-up in a minute. We're also going to learn a great song from Australia, the unofficial national anthem of Australia, Waltzing Matilda. Our chords are going to move just a little faster in this song, so we're progressing in our ability to change chords in rhythm and learn a new song. First, let's learn a new chord, and then we'll learn how to strum. Our new chord is E7. Make an E. Like this. Let's try it. Now E7 is made by lifting up your third finger and keeping the other two fingers where they are. So you can see we've added a tone by taking this one off. E, E7. That's all. Let's look at the chord diagram. Here's E7 just a variety of the E chord. Okay, here's our pick. Again, I used a medium thickness. And normally we strum in the sound hole, like this. But so you can see, I'll strum over here toward the end of the guitar. Now how I hold the pick is my first finger, my index finger, kind of goes down. And the thumb kind of goes across, as you can see there. So I hold it really naturally and leave a little bit at the end. That might be too much. I leave a little bit at the end. You'll find your own way that feels comfortable. But generally speaking, the index finger kind of goes straight down and the thumb goes across. Now without making any chord, let's just try to strum down. Yeah, one more time. Now let's strum up. Now let's make a C chord. Yeah, let's try again. Strum up. Now let's strum up and down. Up, down. Now let's strum down, up. Down, up. Now let's do continually down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Good. Now you practice your chords with the pick like this. Let's do a G. Here, I'm making the G, and here we go. Good. Let's try an E minor. Ready? Go. Good. Now let's try C a little faster. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Continue. Once again, I'll do it really slow. Good. Now, we're going to try to use the pick on our song. And so let's take a look at the chords of Waltzing Matilda. And then we'll look at the words and give the whole thing a try. So here are the chords. You can see that we're going to move things a little faster. We're counting four beats per measure like we've done except for Scarborough Fair. And it'll be two beats C, two beats A minor, and continually like that. That's the verse. And then when we come to the chorus, the chords look like this. Now you see in this song there's a lot of F. And F is a challenge. And you're going to have to be moving a little bit quick. 
So sometimes if F isn't really, really perfect, just glide through it. Keep the song going. So have these chords ready. Let's take a look at the words. So the first four lines is a verse. And then the chorus is waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And then do the last two lines of that verse. Above, and he sang as he sat and waited till his billy boiled. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And then the next verse, and then go back and do the chorus again, and then do the last two lines of that verse, and he sang as he shoved the jump buck in his tucker bag, and so on. There's just a few more words. Let's look at those. So here we have another verse. Do the chorus again, remembering to sing the last two lines of the previous verse at the end of the chorus. One more verse another chorus, and that's it. Now let's look at what some of these words mean. So this is some slang in Australian English. Waltzing is to walk along out in the countryside. Uh, Matilda is your bedroll, or like your backpack, and so on. But before we do, let's go over just the first part of the chords a little bit, a little slower, and we're going to play it. So you get a feeling for the rhythm. Let's do C, A minor, F and G, three times. One, two, three, four. really the heart of this lesson. Getting the chords to move freely and comfortably and using the pick. Now, I really encourage you to get this pick now. If you don't have one and you can't get one, just use your thumb or our strumming style. But the pick comes in really handy and you may find you really like it. So let's try the song now. We're going to do two measures of C to uh, make a little introduction and we'll get this thing going. One, two, three, four. There once was a swag man camped by a billet ball underneath the shade of the coolie bar tree and he sang as he sat and waited Swag men spread. 
Climbing to the billabong Drowning himself Neat the coolie bar tree And his ghost may be heard As you walk along the billabong You come a waltz in Matilda with me Waltz in Matilda Waltz in Matilda You come a waltz in Matilda with me And his ghost may be heard As you walk along the billabong Come a waltz in Matilda with me So once again, really practice this song. And take your time now. If you can't do it at this speed, in the beginning, do it slow. Get the chords first, really sweet, and then you'll be able to do the song. Now I want you to try to be comfortable with a pick this week. Really get the idea of using the pick. Try it on our other songs too. Experiment a lot with the pick this week. Now with our song, Waltzing Matilda, we are really changing chords quickly. It's two beats, two beats, two beats. So go really slow when you work on the song. Get each transition. The one especially from A minor to F is really going to be a real a, a challenge in the beginning. So really work on changing from A minor to F and all the chords too. So really get Waltzing Matilda. Try to memorize these words. It's really a fun song. And work on our other songs too this week. But focus on this pick, moving the chords rather quickly in our song Waltzing Matilda. <laughs>